Hello, everybody. Sorry for no video yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment, and let's just say if my doctor's appointment didn't go as I wanted to. But okay. Anyway, I'm just telling you losing weight is not the key, always the key to being successful. Okay. But look at the wind. The wind is really blowing hard. The wind is blowing so hard that it's shaking the car. Y'all can't see me. I'm eating some beef jerky. So the doc the doctor let me just give you a quick review of my doctors here in Virginia. My blood let me sit y'all right here. I didn't go in there. Okay. Good. So, my blood in 2020 was a 1.5 something. Which means that's how much blood I had in my body. Instead of calling me. They let me walk around like that. Yesterday, my blood was a 3.5, okay? So that's why I'm eating some beef jerky. I'm trying to get my blood back up. I'm eating beets. I will say, salad is good for you, okay? But, only thing that lettuce is good for is um, hydrating. It has no nutrients in it. It is not, you know, not like that. So I'm trying to eat more red meat. I'm not, I mean, that's the thing. You're not supposed to eat for so much. So I take the pills. The truth is I had stopped taking a certain pill once again that I needed. I started to stop taking my folic acid. So now I'm going to make sure I don't run out of folic acid. I'm going to take folic acid, 1,000 milligrams. And hopefully it'll bring it back up. And let me show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like when your blood is low, okay? See? If your blood is good, then you should have red right there. I don't. You see how white this is? Yeah. Also, your fingertips are a good sign. But when I, like, usually when I'm low on blood, like, usually it will... Like, once you get below four, they're supposed to put you in the hospital. I'm not in the hospital. I'm out here in the world. But I got a dilemma. I don't want to go to the hospital because there's COVID in there. So, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know, I'm not... I know people need the doctors and stuff like that. Put that on your cringe YouTube. But yeah, I'm just sitting out in the car because it's better lighting. I need you guys to pray for my cousin. He is also having kidney issues just like I am. And he needs a lot of prayer. He's in a lot of stress. You know. See, I can't eat so much of this stuff because I 
It's got a lot of sodium in it. It's got like three. Like three. Um, it's like one ounce. I don't know. I know how to read it, but I ain't gonna read it now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's salty. I should just keep this in the car from like when I need something and I don't want to overeat. But my cousin's having a lot of protein issues. Like he's eating too much protein. See, it's good to eat protein, guys. And but I've been preaching this for a long time and I might get a lot of hate on this and I love you guys but the keto diet is not the diet for a diabetic okay it might fix you for like a couple months you'll be doing good but eventually it's gonna heighten your cholesterol and stuff like that I mean cuz it's it's meat you know meat and cheese honestly I am lactose intolerant so I shouldn't even eat cheese <clears throat> so not n -n 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 -nick -cotta avocado I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to decline your I love cheese but I do like cheese but it don't like me it makes me go poo poo in the kitchen, Chantel. Yes, it does. Not in the kitchen, actually. <laughs> but that's just what she said. But yeah. But yeah, I just thought I'd talk to you guys for a little bit and maybe we'll do a little chit chat. I don't even know what I'm fixing tonight. I can either do a grocery haul, and that's what I'm going to do when we get in the house. But I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. And please say a bunch of prayers for everybody on the channel. And everybody that's not on my channel. And have a blessed day. Alright guys. This is going to be the haul. And this is going to be the haul that's going to try to bring my blood back up to normal. And hopefully it help my kidneys too. So I got me some glory green. Yes, they're in a can. But I don't know how to fix regular ones right now. My dad was wonderful at it. I also got two of these red meats. And I got some cube steak too. The beef. I got that too. I got two of those. Sorry, it's a little cluttered. I wanted to try these Quest chips to see how they taste. Yeah. Then I got the broccoli florets. I think I got two bags of those. Or just one. It looks like just one. Okay. Anyway, and then I got the grapes that we wanted last time. I got two cartons of eggs. So they said egg yolks can help bring your blood back up to normal. And then you got the grape tomatoes and our craft uh, Catalina. We'll still eat salad. We'll have to add something in. I got some more beef jerky. I got the other one in the car. Tell me if you guys think that's a good idea to leave something like that in the car. I don't know if that would go bad or not. So let me know. I got two cans of pinto beans. They say that will bring it up. You got you some snaps and green stuff. I need to be like Papa the Sailor Man. I got some pickled beets. The only thing is I have to watch how much I consume at once because of my sugar. Then I got me some of this Folgers uh, Classic Decaffeinated Coffee. So I'm hoping I can make my own coffee here. Cold coffees. Because... According to the internet, sometimes uh, caffeine can mess with your blood if you have a blood disorder like I do. 
And I have been drinking coffee almost every day. So, I think I can give it up a little bit. I got the spinach. This is cooking with spinach. I don't know. Can you eat this? Like, in salads? Bake. Blend me. Yeah, you can. And then I got these chips also that I have never eaten before. But if you guys know what they are and stuff like that, let me know. I've never eaten them before. And tell me whether you like them or not. This is my prescription I picked up today for antibiotics. I have to take one every eight hours. So that's going to be fun. So this is our haul today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys will understand about my blood disorder and that I'm having a hard time with it right now again. But it's my fault for not taking my pills. So wish me luck. Love you guys. Hello everybody. This is Tabby Lou and I'm getting ready to end my video. All I have for you is a haul and a little car talk. Tabby Cab talk. That's what we're going to call it. Tabby Cab talk. <laughs> anyway, um, I tried these chips right here. As you can see, I really like them because it's over half the bag of gone. And they look like this. They, they even smell like sweet potato. They are sweet potato. Uh, good. But, my diet is going to change just a small bit. So, we won't be using all the time salad again. But, we will eat salad, you know. But, like I said, uh, lettuce doesn't carry any kind of nutrients. So in the morning, I am going to fix me two eggs with some spinach. Now, I've never cooked spinach in my eggs before. So bear with me. It may, it may be awful, but I'm going to eat it anyway. I don't care because I need to bring the blood up and... That's what we're working on now. Um, I am still on my antibiotic. I'll be up at 7 o'clock in the morning to take that. But anyway, I want you guys to have a wonderful night. This is my night time. What time is it, Phil? It is 2.21. It is 2.21 a.m. here where I'm at. And I am talking to you and ending my video. That's why it hasn't been up yet. But I am trying to take care of myself and also still video. I did not record what I cooked tonight. My kitchen's a mess, being honest. And, you know, when you battle in health problems and stuff like that, your kitchen and your house kind of gets a mess. But tomorrow, I plan on doing some decluttering because I gotta look for some stuff um for the beach and I'm gonna go in the closet so I'm gonna set my tripod up and you guys can sit there and watch me declutter that horrible closet yeah but anyway I'll show you a picture of my dinner I did think of you in that way you could see my dinner and tell me what you think about it Alright guys, I'm going to get off here and I'll let Philip say bye bye to you guys. Hold on. Bye bye. He said bye bye. Alright guys, talk to you later.